Hey everyone, it's Lee here. So in the previous video, I recorded a overview of overclocking my Intel i7-950 to over four gigahertz. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you what it runs like with uh, Cinebench, and I'll also uh, continue on as well. Uh, let's just run that. I'll also continue on as well with my uh, graphics card as well, which is a MSI GTX 970. So what I'll do is I'll just run that as a standard, show you what the benchmark is, and then I'll overclock it as well slightly and show you what the uh, results are on that. So we're just gonna let this uh, perform the render now and uh, we'll get a score. Obviously we've already had one score. You can see on this left hand pane there, which is quite good. Uh, when it's running at just over four gigahertz, 4.01. Um, and that got us a score of 623, which I think is quite, quite good. Um, I don't know what the actual st stock uh, score is, um, so if that's something that you've got experience with, then uh, please share that result. Just let this finish off this last little bit. I'm not too sure if you can hear in the background the uh, CPU cooler whirring away. Okay, so we've just uh, run it for a second time. Uh, this one we've got 626 is the benchmark, so not bad. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna run the benchmark for the uh, graphics card. Uh, I've done that once already, but I'll run it again just to show you. Then we'll come back, oh, we'll overclock the card and we'll compare. Let's wait for this to fire up. Okay, so that's just finished. Um, you can see we've uh, compared against the previous benchmark which was on a little while earlier. So we've got 98.16. Um, so that's with the standard settings. Let's just open up the MSI Afterburner, which is really useful for overclocking your graphics card. Uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just put the power limit to 105 and I'll put the overclock. I'm not too sure whether it'll run stable, so I'm going to kind of be a, a little bit tepid um, and I'm going to run it at 175 additional. Uh, let's just see. The core clock doesn't go up, but I think the uh, it should uh, the core clock will go up once the actual application has started, but I think that will take us up to. Um, can't actually think <laughs> what, what it actually is. We'll come back to it in a sec. We'll actually, we'll look back at this after we've run the actual application and then it will give us uh, what the result is. So yeah, we've just uh, overclocked the card. Let's hit run and see what we how it performs in comparison.
Okay, so that has just completed and it actually completed um, slightly slower for some reason than the previous, so that's uh, interesting. So let's just have a look at the uh, core clock. So the core clock was uh, 12.40. Okay, so I'm not too sure what happened there, but for some reason it was actually slower. I can't really explain that, but they're the results. Um, okay, so it's going to wrap this video up. Um, yeah, not really much more to talk about there. Bit of a mystery why that would um, produce a slower frame rate. I really can't explain it. Maybe it just didn't like the settings, or maybe it's causing some kind of like hardware glitch or crashing or something like that. Not too sure. Um, yeah, share your results, and uh, I'd like to see what you guys are getting. Okay, thanks for watching.